tells the truth. Uh, then, horrible. of course, he posted this uh, photo here of him and, and his children. Uh, of course, yeah, uh, this out. was just the other day. I think this was yesterday. I saw this. Be lying, bro. <laughs> yeah, listen, man. Listen, man. Niggas lie about way less than that, man. Way, way more than that. Niggas lie. Niggas lie about. Shit, this is this is this is worthy of a lie. <laughs> shit, fuck that man. He was like, nah, man, he ain't doing shit. But here's the thing, though, by saying, by lying, and this coming out, like you said earlier, I think that was Lomingo. Everything else that he that he was allegedly said was a lie. Now all that shit's like a vacuum. All that shit come over to the true side. That's why motherfucker Meek, I feel bad for Meek. Because I don't think Meek is gay. But I feel bad for Meek because now it's like, oh, that's true too. If this was true, then that's true too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. This this is this is slippery slope. Once you get caught in one lie, and it's like, what what isn't a lie, bro? Now it's now we just starting to assume everything is true, bro. You think Meek is a um? Do I think he? Do I think he uh let Diddy uh blow his bussy out? <laughs> yeah. Basically. If you ask me personally, I would say no. Like, I, just, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think so. I mean, would I be surprised? Hell no. I mean. I don't think Meek did that, man. I, I don't. Think, I don't think, I think Meek was that. getting groomed. I think. Meek was getting groomed though, but I don't think I think Meek probably too stupid to know he was getting groomed. But I don't think I think like if if, if Diddy and Meek would have been in the room one time drinking some Ciroc or some shit off the late night, and motherfucker Diddy put his hand on his thigh, I think Meek would be like, "Man, what the fuck you doing, dog?" You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you so you. You think Diddy could have cracked? You mean cracked him open? No, nah, I don't think he could have. I all don't right. think he could have. Well, let's put it this way: before all this happened, do you think Diddy could have been gay? Like, if somebody asked, Diddy yeah, no, nah, I thought Diddy was gay. I've been thought that yeah. he he got some weird ass pictures online, bro. And everything he said, like everything he says, is weird. Yeah. Like, he, just listen to a, him talking to other rappers or other singers. It's always like, dog, no homo, pause, nigga. Pause. And he never says pause. Never. Salute yeah, to I Baby King, man. Baby King says, what y'all know about being the bundle bandit? I just need to see where you coming from. LOL. Yeah, man. Salute to um salute to Baby King, man. No, you, if you uh look up like a he got a picture with him like spooning with French Montana, bro. Oh yeah, you in know. the bed, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's he got a lot of yeah, shit, man. Yeah, I've been through that nigga was a little sus, bro. Yo, do yo, listen, I still think niggas like that. They can feel your energy, man. I like to think that if I was around a nigga like that, he as done. an adult, now maybe as a child, I don't know. As a kid, maybe. But I like to think that as an adult, if I was around a nigga like that, that he would just be like, no, like, he would just like it'll be like yo. He'd just be like ah, oh, it'd it, it, it be no yeah. opening like he because it gotta be a little opening. Pause for <laughs> for them to um for them to um <laughs> cry you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they for gotta to try you. Yeah, if they don't see an opening, I don't think they're gonna try it. But if they think you, if they think you got a chance that you might be be willing to poop on their meat. Then they they try, <laughs> yo, my nigga, you are sick, dog. Yo, man, stop it, man, stop, man. You bad for saying shit like that, man. No more, man. 
Mamu wa vina mwoshi wa itiaeta. Get up, man. What the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? Yo, man, that nigga, man. But that nigga, that nigga Diddy, man. I got I feel like, say big, right? Pause. Right? You think he would have tried Biggie? No, I don't think he. I don't think he. I don't even think he got an <laughs> idea that would even pop in his head, bro. What about um the locks, man? Bro, come on, bro. We not. Knew, I'm not even not. gonna discuss that, bro. He not <laughs> trying. Kiss. It's not, he not trying styles, bro. Come on, bro. Some niggas will fuck that man, bro. Be his ass, bro. They, he not even gonna try that, bro. Yo, man, Black Rob, man. You think he ain't try Black Rob? Fuck no, bro, <laughs> bro. These niggas, I ain't gonna say they always know, but they got a good ass idea, bro. But what do you think about them? They had to have seen shit that we could never imagine, right? Yeah, no, for real. So what do you think about them still rocking with him? And they gangsters and shit. You know what I'm saying? Biggie a real nigga, man. Biggie yeah. ain't no studio gangster. You know what I'm saying? What do I, I mean, I feel like they just like, yo, this nigga freaked, that, freaked out ass nigga, but <laughs> he the one that's going to drop that bag on us. So we, whatever, we just let that, as long as he don't try, you mean, fucking crack, crack, crack my cheeks open. <laughs> oh man, pause, man. Pause, my nigga. Um this this dude right here, man. Yo, Craig Mack. Um, I know he ain't trying. He probably was like, he probably wasn't attracted to Craig Mack. <laughs> Craig Mack was like, Craig Mack probably heard the rumors was like, nah, man, I ain't never seen no shit like that. Craig no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mack was like, what? <laughs> shit, did he ain't, he ain't even... He ain't never do nothing to me. He ain't even look at me like that. I don't know what's going on. Right, man. Y'all niggas lying, man. Fuck that shit, man. That's my nigga, man. You gotta see me off that shit, man. Dog. Yo, <laughs> Yo man. Think about it, man. Um, little C. Oh, name some more yeah. niggas that he was. Um. Oh shit. Yo, oh, they um. God. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> oh man, bad boy, man. That was listen, man. Um, <laughs> oh, cool, no. <laughs> yeah, man. Craig Mack was cool, man. He the only one that was cool, man. Um, but yeah, I just can't see my nigga trying. Biggie, Black Rob, but he, you gotta remember, it's people that was cool with Diddy, like really under Diddy Pauls that we ain't even know because they wasn't on Bad Boy, like Young Jock, Young Jock was under Diddy like a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I can see like, Young Jock going. Nah, I can't see Young Jock going. After seeing his interviews and shit on Vlad, I can't see Hobie rocking like that, man. <laughs> I can't see a rocket, man. Um, he had but, that weird ass. You seen him when he straightened his hair up? Nah, I, I got that. That 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 that'll make a nigga think. But after hearing his interviews and shit, the type of nigga he is, it's like nah, I don't believe yeah, it, man. I ain't see, I never seen his interviews. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't on Vlad, he be on Vlad a lot, man. man. He different than he different than what you like. You said like he different than what you'll think. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. Then, like, yeah, he, probably, he was looking like somebody fucking auntie. Auntie, man. yeah, man, he was straight up wilding, man. Um, 
nigga ritual humiliation ritual. Yo, I don't know what the fuck. But he was wildin', wildin'. Um, but um, yeah, man, listen, man, everybody, everybody but yeah, like um Diddy cool er Diddy cool with baby. Like he cool with everybody, man. Yeah, he cool with all these niggas, bro. Yeah, it's like he like the he like a gatekeeper, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, for real. So it's like it ain't it don't matter if you don't see him on his label and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like that don't matter. Like he he still like know them niggas. He still like hang with them niggas. Still like in contact with them niggas. Yeah, man. This this shit wild, bro. Eddie Winslow, man. Shit, that Eddie Winslow shit. Wow, man. Eddie Winslow. Shit. He dating that transgender man. He like public. Oh, talking about that Sydney Star shit. Yeah, like he like they made a video and shit. He was he was it's, supposed to be straight or all I remember him was superhead back in the day. I don't know. I don't oh superhead. Know. Oh shit. Yeah, that's shout out to Superhead. She the goop. Yeah, man. Um yeah, but uh yeah, but um yeah, Diddy man. Diddy man, damn Diddy. Um yeah and his children, uh, of course, uh, out by a lake. Uh, and then he had posted Mother's Day uh, tributes to uh, the mothers of his children. All right, here uh, come the panel. Out. Let's see the panel. Uh, but the reality is, um, even <laughs> oh, though that's run out. Uh, uh -oh. These niggas, man. <laughs> yo, I, yo, I got a theory, bro. I feel like one of these niggas going to say, yo, why this shit don't happen to white men or oh you know, definitely without a doubt fucking wild ass shit like yo they dude. try to take black entertainers down yeah yeah they gonna uh, be this, like yo we we see this trend. we saw Diddy and we, uh. we always see this trend with black entertainers <laughs> when they reach a certain level of success they start getting these <laughs> random charges out of thin air. It's gonna be some yeah. weird ass narrative. Like I can see that. I could definitely see that, man. Especially her, cause she just bad that he was with a Spanish bro. She pissed. And his attorneys released a statement denying the allegations when the lawsuit was dropped. Can't deny this video. Press this in two ways. So the first thing I want to say is the much more important story here is about Cassie and not about Diddy. And I want to say, having worked with survivors for most of my career, this is not an easy thing to do. She should be commended as is any survivor who comes forward and any survivor who survives, uh, even if at some point they don't come forward or if they come forward many years later. So first, I want to give full voice to her and, and show support because it's so important that people recognize that these are real people's lives, celebrities notwithstanding. Um, and what she did is courageous. Now, um, normally I come on the show and talk about, you know, allegations and the whole deal. This is not that. This is the opposite situation. This is the situation where a person has been a, a person has been um, hurt, harmed, and they've said what well, happened. If you can hear it. We can hear it. <laughs> this nigga in his motherfucking crib and shit. Man. Yeah, this nigga got the kids fucking. Yeah, man. You supposed to have yeah. a den. You ain't all that all the degrees you got, nigga. You ain't got a den, man, or a basement. <laughs> nigga in this nigga in this kitchen and shit. <laughs> nigga got five PhDs streaming in his kitchen. <laughs> oh my nigga, man. God dog, man. And, and we've got that documentary proof. And a lot of times when you have this documentary proof, it shocks the conscience. People don't realize what somebody was dealing with as long as they were dealing with it. She was with him for, I believe, 14 years. So I'm glad that there will be no, not it only- It would be so funny if he just turned around like, man, quack that shit down over there, man. So anyway, um, <laughs> I'd be rolling, dog. <laughs> justice um there has been justice in the courts but that there will be justice hopefully uh for cassie's name and for any survivor who comes forward later and i'll say you know this is one of the things that it doesn't matter how good his pr team is how good his lawyer is they will not be able to get away from this and he should not be able to get away from this and i'm hoping man your kid that ain't being disrespectful man come on man 
Control your kids, man. Shit. <laughs> Yo, man. You the king. Of your, this your castle, man. This your humble abode, man. What you doing, dog? Control your kids, man. His kids, they being disrespectful, yo. <laughs> you, don't see, you know your dad streaming, man. The fuck going on, man? Hoping that people who are fans of his, fans of his music, do not allow this to be swept under the rug because he absolutely should be held to task as long as we can. Now, them sound like little biracial kids, man. Them don't sound like black kids. <laughs> yeah, hey, don't them kids sound biracial, man? <laughs> Let me find out, man. This nigga, man. Nigga trying to be happy and shit. Right. He trying to be happy, man. For any survivor who comes forward later. And I'll say, you know, this is one of the things that it doesn't matter how good his PR team is, how good his lawyer is. They will not be able to get away from this. And he should not be able to get away from this. And I'm hoping that people who are fans of his, fans of his music, do not allow this to be yeah, them little them little glider kids man. <laughs> yeah man black kids man they already know man daddy's streaming man they be ass whooping his 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 glider wife ain't gonna she don't let him beat the kids man so they be acting out man swept under the rug because he absolutely should be held to task as long as we can remember this and we should remember this as long as he's in the public eye Absolutely. Look, I 